Hey, what's up, YouTube and GPK fam? It's your boy, Retro Hero, and tonight is just a quick show and tell video, just a couple minutes long, and I'm going to talk about, you guessed it, GPK on a budget. So, over the last couple of weeks, I have been talking with you about finding garbage pail kids or non sport cards on a budget for a good price. I have been working with a store owner and it is not just a sports card store. This is kind of a retro store. He sells coins and stamps and memorabilia. It's one of those stores where everything is just piled up. So for several years, I have been asking the store owner about non-sports cards, especially garbage pail kid cards. And he says he's had some. And I said, Herb, when are you gonna break those out for me? And finally today I stopped in and he said, hey, I have a box of garbage pail kid cards. I know you've been asking. I've been setting them aside for you for several weeks. Here they are. You can have this entire box of cards for $100. So let me kind of just show you really quick, maybe a sneak peek on what Herb gave me. So let's start over here. This is a series three complete set. And then another complete set. We've got a series four complete set and another complete set. I'm gonna Looks like this is a Series 5 complete set, and I did open it at the store just to take a look at the condition of the cards. And they look to be of good quality. Series 6 complete set. Series 7 complete set. Series 7 again complete set. We've got a Series 8 complete set. Series 8 complete set and a Series 10 complete set. And then he also threw in just a couple of the Star Wars 1977 complete sets the blue, the red, and the yellow. In addition to these complete sets, he also had a couple of sets that I don't know if it was him or the person that sold him this box, which he has said he has had for many, many years. This is a series three. It looks like it's missing one card. I haven't gone through it yet. Another series four missing one card. A series five missing one card. And a series two missing one card. In addition to these, I have no series one, but a whole bunch of series two through 15 cards. Now I've gone through a majority of the cards. I have found some decent errors, no semicolon, no number errors. Uh, however, some, some pretty neat errors. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna put these together and I'll share with you more of what I found. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Everyone out there, stay healthy. GPK on a budget. Talk to you again soon. Bye.